Yo, what is up guys? Anthony here back with another Destiny Child video and in today's video everyone we're going to be going over the Japan update note for the Evils Under the Sun Ragnarok. Now this is of course from when they actually did receive it on January 1st 2020. So we'll be overviewing it and seeing what we could potentially expect for when Global does receive it next week. So let's get started here with the Japan update note. Alright everyone so as you can see here up on the screen to start it out we do have the splash art here featuring the new five star luin which is of course going by penetrating ruin here the five star wood type attacker unit so very nice to see a new version of luin here as you can see her art featured up on the screen right now next up here we of course do have her skills here and it does confirm here that she is a five star wood type attacker type unit now as for her skills we'll go over them shortly next up here we do have her drive skill so let's see what it is <laughs> Alright everyone, so there was Ruin's drive skill. Overall, a pretty nice drive skill there for the new Luin character. And I do like it quite a bit more than her current drive skill on her first character unit. Alright everyone, so next up here, we do have the final rewards here from the shopper rotations in the Rag the Break. Now we do have the 5 star dark type unit Durandal here as for the first rotation. Next up here, we do have a 5 star Ruin copy here. And then of course, we do have a 5 star Prism Sokarta ticket here as well. Then we do have a 5 star wood type summoning ticket ticket and last off here we do have a five star wood type ruin to end it off as for the final shop here we of course do have ruin appearing yet again as for ruins equip set we do have her five star a weapon which will be the knight's piercing spear her armor set will be the knight's war spear full dress and her accessory will be the knight's holy lance next up here they did introduce in the japan version the costume select box here which was featured in their evils under the sun ragnabrake shop so if we do see this brought over to the global version we could expect to see it on the final shop rotation available for purchase with ragnabrake coins and you can pick the costume of your choice here for any unit that does have a costume available. Next up here, we do have the mission reward here for completing all of the Ragnarok missions, which will of course grant you with a five star ruin copy, a three to five star 10 times summoning ticket. And as for the global version, I would expect crystals to be in the last slot here instead of the blood gems next up here we do have the illustration for the five star ruin spa costume so a very nice looking spa costume here and hopefully it's animated in 2d when we do receive it and of course here we do have the five star durandal exclusive costume that will be brought alongside this Ragnarok and can be obtained from the platinum chest here. So very nice to see this brought over and it does grant a very nice new look for the units. Next up here everyone we do have the potential summons that we could expect to see with our evils under the sun update. Now to start it out here we do have the new fire type supporter units fail not which we will expect to see introduced with this new event so she will of course have a boosted pickup summon which is featured up here on the screen right now which will grant you with a copy of her upon summoning a five star unit next up here we could expect to see as well the five star love hate davi here which will be introduced as well with this regna break if everything is kept the same she is the fire type attacker unit Overall, Davi is an amazing character and we will be sure to go over her skill set in just a bit. But of course, if introduced, she will have a guaranteed upon summoning pickup banner. Next up here, we of course do have the dual summon featuring fail not as well as the love hate Davi on the same banner and we also do have here the illustration featuring fail not so this is her splash art here and what will be displayed if you do feature her on your home screen and when you do eventually summon her and of course we do also have the illustration for the love and hate davi here as well as for their skill sets we of course do confirm here that they are the fire type supporter type unit for the fail not 
and of course Davi is the fire type attacker type unit. As for their skills, we'll go over them shortly as well. As for their drive skills, let's preview them and see what they have in store. <laughs> Overall, everyone, very nice drive skills here for all three characters. Now, out of all of the three, I do like the fail not to drive skill the most personally, but feel free to let me know in the comment section below what you do think of the three drive skills and which one you do like the most. Alright, everyone, so those were the main key points of the Evils Under the Sun update note from the Japan side of Destiny Child. Now, if you guys would like to go over this update note on your own time, I'll be be sure to link it in the description box below as well of this video now before we end this video off i'll be sure to pop up the skill sets on the screen right now of the featured units that we will potentially be receiving with the evils under the sun ragna break and we'll go over them to see what we could expect for the ruin fail not and the new love and hate davi all right everyone to start it out here we do have the skill set for piercing ruin now we are using the translations from the destiny child international discord server so i'll be sure to link the invites below as i did get the information from their server so very helpful to receive this information from their translations from the japan update note so be sure to check out the discord server in the description box below so at rank 7 max level 10 skills here we do have the piercing ruin wood type attacker unit but before we go over their skills in depth we do have their rankings here straight from the rice mine japan tier list we do have PvE tier 7, PvP tier 8, Ragnar Break tier 7, and World Boss tier 7 as well. So overall, a very decent unit for all categories of the game. And I'm expecting her to actually be a little better on the global side. As of course, Japan does have way more units than the global version. So to start it out here on her skills, we do have her auto attack, which deals 747 damage. Her tap skill here deals 3025 damage to the target 92.8 percent chance to swap attack and defense for 14 seconds to self so of course her tap skill here does have a very high percentage chance at max skills here to swap the attack and defense of herself for 14 seconds long which will ensure more damage and her tap skill actually does deal a decent amount of damage at max skills at 3025 so definitely a very strong tap skill here and it will be amazing paired up with a crit buffer as for her slide skill here we do have prioritizing debuffer deals 4573 damage to two targets apply erode depending Depending on the number of debuffs, plus one deals 120 damage for every two seconds for every debuff, maximum of four for 20 seconds, and for PvP only, apply shatter, deal 803 bonus damage for every wood type ally up to 10. So overall, a pretty unique slide skill here as she does have the prioritizing debuffer, so she will focus those debuffer units. She also does have the erode effect here, which of course, depending on the number of debuffs plus one deals 120 damage for every two seconds for every debuff at a maximum of four so very cool to see this effect on her slide skill and it will of course make her very useful as we do have a ton of strong debuffers in the pvp meta of the global version as of now and of course the effect does last for 20 seconds and she also does have the exclusive pvp effect here which does apply shatter deal 803 bonus damage for every wood type ally up to 10. As for her drive skill here, we do have deal 8,393 damage to four random enemies. So a pretty basic drive skill here, but nonetheless does deal a decent amount of damage. And for her leader skill here, 
we do have wood type allies slide skill damage plus 10 percent so a pretty nice leader skill here for maybe world bosses or ragna breaks as it does increase the wood type allies slide skill damage at a plus 10 percent rate so overall a very decent unit based on the skills from the japan version and definitely be sure to pick up all of the free copies from the upcoming ragna break event next up here everyone we do have the five fire davi which is of course the love and hate davi which will of course be the fire type attacker type unit which will be introduced with the evils under the sun ragna break as for her tiers here on the rice mine japan she is of course a pve tier 8 pvp tier 8 ragna break tier 10 and world boss tier 9 so overall a very amazing unit for all aspects of the game so a definite summon here if you do have a decent amount of crystals and would like to get the copy from the guaranteed upon summoning banner at least when it is released to the global version so of course i would expect those ratings to be higher as well as we don't have all of the units that the japan version does have as for her auto attack here on rank 7 level 10 skills she does deal 751 damage her tap skill here deals 3052 damage to target three times deal 1032 ignore defense damage and for wood type targets deal 855 bonus damage for ragna break only 85.2 percent chance to apply overload all skills damages plus 30 percent except for drive skills and skill cooldown increased plus skill charge speed decreased to sell for 14 seconds along so overall here on her tap skill she is pretty much a damage machine as she does apply the overload effect here at a 85.2% rate at of course plus 6 skill set so a very nice tap skill here overall for Ragna Break events and world bosses in general maybe even has use in PvP as she is ranked pretty high in the category as well as for the slide skill here we do have deals 4628 damage to three random enemies apply fortitude explosion removes fortitude if the target has two or less stacks of it for three or more stacks of fortitude deal 504 damage per stack removed so a very nice slide skill here for the ragna break as ruin will of course have stacks of fortitude on her level 40 boss so a very nice unit here to help out with the ragna break events of course as she does remove the fortitude stacks on her slide skill as for davi's drive skill here we do have deal 8547 damage to all enemies for attacker types deal 700 bonus damage overall a pretty decent drive skill and last here for her leader skill we do have fire type allies tap skill damage plus 15 percent for ragna only only additional tap skill damage plus 15 percent so pretty nice here to see her leader skill does buff your fire type allies a ton and i would expect to see this leader skill used quite a bit in the world boss trials as she does apply the base plus 15 percent in all categories of the game so overall a very amazing unit and i would definitely recommend to summon for her if you do have the crystals and would like to get at least the copy from the guaranteed upon summoning banner all right everyone last up here we do have the fire type unit fail not which is of course the supporter five star unit that will be introduced with the ragna break as well as for her tiers here on the japan rice mine her pve tier is a 7 pvp a 6 ragna break a 10 and the world boss a 10 now of course i would expect to see her ratings rise yet again on the global version just like the two other characters as we don't have all of the units that the japan version does have but to start it out here of course at rank 7 level 10 skills her auto attack deals 686 damage her tap skill here deals 2540 damage to target and she of course also does have an 85.6 percent chance of remove damage over time debuffs from two allies so a pretty unique tap skill here as she does remove the damage over time 
time debuff from two of your allies. Her slide skill here deals 3980 damage to two random enemies. For two highest attack fire type allies, apply double edged sword, increase attack by 110.2% but decreases defense and also does apply skill gauge plus 40.1% for Ragna break only apply tap skill damage plus 50.6% for 16 seconds long so a very nice slide skill here as she does have the double edge sword effect and she also does apply the skill gauge plus 40.1% and of course the Ragna break only additional tap skill damage plus 50.6% for 16 seconds long so very nice to have in pair with an attacker fire type unit for the upcoming event. As for her drive skill here, we do have deal 6,761 damage to three random enemies for the three highest attack fire type allies. Skill gauge charge speed plus 60% and for Ragna break only tap skill damage plus 30%. So of course, similar to her slide skill, her drive skill is very helpful with the fire type allies as she will ensure maximum amounts of damage in the evils under the sun Ragna break and of course will help a ton in future fire events including world boss trials. And last but not least here we do have her leader skill which is fire type allies skill god charge speed plus 15 percent so very nice leader skill here for ragna breaks as well as world bosses in general so overall a very nice supporter unit here for the fire type units of the game and i would definitely recommend summoning for her guaranteed upon summoning banner at least when she does arrive to the global version as she will be useful for future world bosses and of course ragna breaks as well so a definite summon here if you do have the crystals available and would like to obtain at least the copy from the guaranteed upon summoning banner which is of course just like the love and hate Davi. So overall everyone those are all of the potential skills of the upcoming units that we will potentially see with the evils under the sun Ragna break and of course the update overview from the Japan side of the game. So be sure to check out the description box below if you would like to see all of their skills I will be sure to link them in the description and of course the Japan update know as well if you would like to overview it on your own time but before you go everyone make sure to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy and also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so already and are enjoying the destiny child content now with all of that being said i'll see you all in tomorrow's destiny child video thank you all so much for watching